Hi everyone, my name is Alba Rivas and today I'm going to show you how to get started with Salesforce Functions. Salesforce Functions let you extend your business logic, your Salesforce business logic to any demand. They are written in industry standard programming languages such as Java or JavaScript and they run within the Salesforce trust boundary. When the code of a function runs, it automatically scales with load. If the function needs more resources, it will take them. Additionally, they don't count towards API request limits. The best place to get started with Salesforce functions is the functions developer guide. You can find it at sfdc.co slash functions dash guide. There you will find comprehensive documentation and examples. Now to create, test and deploy a Salesforce functions, you will need some prerequisites. You will need to install some tools. The first tool that you will need to install is the Salesforce CLI and you can use any IDE of your choice, but I recommend you to use Visual Studio Code because we have a set of extensions for Visual Studio Code, the Salesforce extension pack that have capabilities to develop Salesforce functions. As of today, functions can be developed in two languages, JavaScript, and Java. As in this quick take, we are going to develop a JavaScript function, I will also need Node installed. Right, so let's go now to VS Code. We will start by generating a project with the SF executable. The SF executable, it's a new executable different from SFDX that will unify in the future commands from all Salesforce products, including the Salesforce platform, functions, MuleSoft, and more. To generate a project, you run SF generate project. And there it is. We have our project ready. So what we can do now is to go into the project folder and generate our first function. We will do that by running SF generate function and indicating the programming language that we want to use. In our case, it will be JavaScript. You will probably use functions for much more interesting stuff. But as this is just a demo and I love cats, I have decided to create a function that uses a Node.js library to generate cat images. Let's install the library with npm. First, we will need to navigate into the function folder to install the dependency and then run the npm install command. Great, so now our cats GGS library is installed and we can use it within our function. We are going to modify the body of the function to generate that cat record and return it in JSON. To test your function, you can build and run it locally. You don't need an OR. Indeed, I haven't connected to any OR yet. You can do that by running SF run function start. When you see a starting and the name of the function, that will mean that the function is running in your machine and that it's ready to receive requests. What we can do now is to open another terminal and invoke the function from there. To invoke the function, you run sf run function, uh, the URL in which the function is running, which in our case is our local host port 8080 by default, and you optionally pass a payload. So there we have, this is the cat image that our cats.js library has returned. Let's open that in a browser and see the amazing cat that has been returned. 
Now we know that our function works as expected, so let's deploy it to an OR so that we can invoke it from Apex. To be able to deploy a function to an OR, the function's feature needs to be activated in the OR. Functions is a paid feature, but you can request a trial OR with functions enabled at functions.salesforce.com slash signups. Also remember that if you don't have a functions enabled OR, you can run your functions locally as we did before in this video. This is a trial OR that I have requested. The functions feature is activated. I have the OR connected to my functions account and I activated the Deb Hub setting because we are going to use Scratch Orgs for functions development. I also made sure that the correct permission sets are assigned to my user. Let's go to VS Code to see how to deploy our function. First, we need to connect the Salesforce CLI to our trial OR. We do that by running SF login OR. We will be prompted to enter our Salesforce OR login details and that's it. The CLI will get connected to your OR. Next, we also need to connect the CLI to our functions account. We do that by running SF login functions and the process is very similar. We will be prompted to enter the details of our trial or which is really connected to our functions account. To follow development best practices, we will create a Scratch org. First, we'll need to activate the functions feature in the project Scratch configuration file, and then we will execute the force or create command. Salesforce functions are deployed and run into a secure Salesforce managed infrastructure that is different from your Salesforce OR. This is a compute environment. While in your OR you run things like Apex and Flows, functions are run in compute environments. You create a compute environment by running SFM create compute. Once created, the compute environment will remain associated with your Salesforce org. If you want to check the list of compute environments that you have created, you can run SFM list. Let's do a quick recap. We requested a trial or we activated the dev hub setting in the trial or and we saw how this or is connected to the functions account. Then we connected the Salesforce CLI to the trial or and also to the functions account. Finally, we created a scratch or and we created a compute environment which is associated to that scratch or. You can create more scratch orgs and associated compute environments if needed. Now let's finally deploy our function. The deployment process is very similar to the one from Heroku. You need to commit your changes into a Git repo. So what we are going to do is to create a Git repo with Git in it. We will add all the changes and we will make a commit. Once done that, you can deploy your function with SF deploy function. That's all for today's video. If you want to know more, on top of the documentation, we have a sample app that showcases how to use functions. We have JavaScript functions and also Java functions implemented. The sample app is available in GitHub, but it also comes installed in those functions trial orgs that you can request. So take a look and enjoy coding functions. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, remember to give it a like and also subscribe to the channel, clicking on the bell to receive notifications. Thank you so much. Bye bye.